like a hell cut. Hello and welcome back to the channel where once again it's time for another Sega Saturn review. Now today's game is the Japanese version of Outrun that had a separate release along the Sega Ages line in September of 1996 over there. Obviously in the PAL version we saw this released in Sega Ages Volume 1, a collection of three games including this, Afterburner 2 and Space Harrier. Now I'm sure some people out there will be saying, why on earth am I reviewing this game separately? I recently reviewed the Master System version, I obviously reviewed the Sega Ages Volume 1 collection as well. Well obviously the Japanese version of Outrun had a couple of advantages over the PAL version and I will obviously be covering those in this review. So once the main menu hits and you head into options, you'll see you've got quite a few things you can tweak on this version. You can change the time limit, the enemy level, the gear mode, game mode controls, music test, BGM mode, and sound mode. So you've got quite a few options. Remember the Master System version when I reviewed that had no options whatsoever. So like always, I'm going to start with visuals first, and I'm going to point out the obvious thing that people will be expecting me to say. This version of the game has a smooth mode, whereas the PAL version does not. What does that mean, you say? It means the game runs at 60 frames per second instead of 30. And this is hugely noticeable, and it really is the only way you can play this game, because the game is so slick, so smooth and fast and responsive in 60 frames per second, I think it still looks and runs absolutely brilliantly to this day and age. Obviously, people will know if they've watched several of my reviews before, I love sprite scaling games. I think they look so good, especially when they're running as well as this. I haven't got a single negative thing to say about the way the Outrun looks and performs on the Saturn, the NTSC version, without a doubt is the best version of this game you can play on a home console, in my opinion. It really does look fantastic. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some side-by-side -side footage of the NTSC version running at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second, and then I'm gonna give you some footage of the PAL version running in comparison to the 60 frames per second NTSC version. So moving on to the sound effects and music next, and if you watched either my Master System review of Outrun or my review of Sega Ages Volume 1, you will know that I absolutely love that Outrun soundtrack. I don't think there's anything bad I can say about any of the tunes in this game because they are, for me, all-time classics. Now, the advantage with the Japan release is that it has arranged versions of these as well, so you've got some different music to listen to if you're new to it, which is really, really good. Sound effects as well, they are fantastic, vastly superior to what we saw on the Master System recently. They are top quality stuff as well. I really do enjoy playing this game on my gaming chair with the sound hooked up to that. It sounds absolutely fantastic. I cannot deny it. Overall, in the sound effects and music department, Outrun is brilliant. What I'm going to do, though, is give you some examples of the standard tracks and the arranged tracks so you can decide for yourselves which you like the most.
So moving on to the gameplay next, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I've covered the Master System version recently, and I've covered the PAL version of this in the Sega Ages Volume 1 collection. Outrun is simple pick up and play racing goodness. You jump in your Ferrari, you race from one side of the country to the next, trying to get one of the five possible endings. Your time can be extended after you reach each checkpoint. In terms of controls, you've got accelerate, brake, you can change gears manually as well if you choose to do so. It really is that simple. But where Outrun excels is the fact it's just wonderful pick up and play fun. And it's so quick to blast through one game as well. You will find yourself coming back to it time and time again just to pick it up have a quick playthrough for 10 minutes or so and it is enjoyable in that regard it's never designed to give you long-term gameplay but of course in terms of short-term thrills it excels still to this very day so in the gameplay department outrun still plays very very well So moving on to content and lifespan next, and we've got five possible endings with 15 possible routes just like the Master System version, but where this has a huge advantage in the fact you've got options that you can change. You can set the game on very easy and you will be able to get through it without too much of a challenge and you can gradually turn that difficulty up until you try the game on very hard and then it will be far more difficult for you to complete as well as that we've got much more music in this game because we've got all the tracks being arranged which gives us more variety when we're playing the game as well as that we've got both the standard 30 frames per second modes and the smooth modes where the game runs at 60 frames per second for both the japan and overseas modes and you can set course records for all of these which is quite nice as well so in terms of content and lifespan it's got much more than the 8-bit version although on the whole it's still only an arcade game So like always, that leaves us with our two final questions. Is the NTSC version of OutRun still worth playing today? And does it make our worldwide Sega Saturn top 10? Now, without a doubt, this is still worth playing because it is still so much fun just to pick it up and play for 10, 15 minutes at a time. It is great. And mark my words, this version is the only one you should be playing. It isn't really worth even touching the power release of Sega Ages Volume 1 if you've got access to the NTSC version of OutRun because the game looks better, performs better, and it's got more music in it, which makes it vastly superior to the power release. Now, does that mean it can make our worldwide Sega Saturn top 10? Like I've said, this game looks really good. It sounds great. It's fun to play. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's a 1986 arcade game and it simply cannot make our worldwide Sega Saturn top 10. But don't take anything away from this version of OutRun because it simply is fantastic. If you haven't played it, I suggest you find a way to play it because it is still so much fun. Like always, these are my thoughts and my thoughts alone. If yours differ or if you just have your own views in general, let me know with a comment down below. And like always, I'll be back in the near future with another review. Goodbye for now.